Hello guys, welcome to my video. Uh, in this video I'm gonna explain you guys how to become a good um, ground bait mixer. So in order to get your ground bait up there are a few tips. Let's start with a few tips to level up making ground bait a little faster. So um, I've been trying some uh, different things to level up my ground bait as fast as I can. Um, there are a couple of tricks to do it faster but one trick was doing it for me i got to a hundred percent in only a couple of days it costed me a lot and a lot of silver um but you can go to level 40 in like one day if you want uh with this trick so the first thing you got to do is you start making ground bait, I think the first base ingredient you unlock is uh, feet. You can buy it in the farmer shop at the Winding Rivulet. Um, I spend all my points in the mixing ground bait, so my quality of my ground bait is higher, but that's up to you guys. Um, you will most likely get 8, 9 or 10 quality for every ground bait you make. So what should you do to um, level up fast? in making ground bait. It's very simple guys. Uh, there's first of all there's two things that make it go faster. Drinking alcohol and um, using making ground bait during happy hour. Um, why is that? You will not get uh, 4 XP to make one ground bait during happy hour. You will not get uh, 4 XP uh, making ground bait while drinking alcohol. No. Uh, the thing is, if you drink alcohol and you do this during a happy hour, you will get XP more frequently. That doesn't mean you get XP every time you make one single ground bait, but the probability of you getting XP for making ground bait is increased when you are drunk, or uh, should I say tipsy, or while happy hour. Um, I'm gonna go over everything, so I'm gonna explain you how to level up faster, and I am going to uh, explain to you guys how to make the perfect ground bait for each and any uh, species of fish. That always works. So first of all, let's say you are level 10. You go, uh, you press escape, click making ground bait skill tree. And then you go check. Um, let's say this is the latest thing you have unlocked in making ground bait. You click it and then you see here what you have unlocked. This is, the, this is the last thing you unlocked in the skill tree of making ground bait. So let's say you just unlocked Sim Simolina and ground crackers. Uh, the best thing to do now to level up is you go to the tackle shop and you buy... Um, yeah, I'm sorry guys, I'm just new to Ladoga so I don't know where everything is yet. Um, so you go to the, the store, the tackle shop. And you buy a lot of uh, ground crackers and sil simolina, right? Was it called? Um, okay, I can't find the, the 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 tackle shop. That's the first fail of my YouTube channel. But okay, so the thing you do is you go to the shop, you buy a lot of ground crackers and um, yeah, simolina. You buy some alcohol. I'm always buying uh, the General's brandies that can be expensive, but the, the vodka works as well. Uh, there's also um, champagne, but it's very expensive. Uh, drink as much as you can while leveling up. Don't, don't just drink one. Drink like six, six bottles of General's brandy or six bottles of vodka as much as you can. Uh, then you go to, you press N. And you go to ground baits and the only thing you are going to use is the base ingredients. So let's say uh, uh, the last thing you unlocked is feed or semolina. It doesn't matter. Always the last thing. You click it. You make it. And then it's just a matter of uh, am I going to get XP or not. Of course I'm not getting XP anymore because I already have 100% um, in ground bait making. So... I always hold my left hand on the backspace button because, yeah, uh, ground bait with only base ingredient, you, you're not gonna use that for anything probably. So, um, the, the 
just makes it go faster. So you just keep doing this until you go to um, the next level and the next level is in this case um, Pearl Barley and Feed. So then you go to uh, Feed is really good because it's very cheap. I think it's only uh, 0.5 silver, not sure. Uh, so you go to win Winding Rivulet or any shop where it's cheap and you buy the mixture um, ingredient. You buy a lot of them. Uh, you can always refund the mixtures you didn't use. So then you just do it all over again. You press end. Um, you press end. You go to ground baits. Uh, random ground baits uh, mixture. You choose the last thing you have unlocked. And you make it. While it, when it's processed. You just press backspace with your left hand. So it's very easy. You can level up this skill very very fast but um, when you get to a higher level you will unlock um, mixtures like um, <coughs> for instance uh, flaxseed, rapeseed it gets more expensive well when you level up and the higher you get the slower you will level up so for people who have premium uh, do it during happy hour it really helps a lot and drinking alcohol also helps a lot. I went from level 20, I think, to level 100 in only 5 days, I think. I just log in every day at happy hour to, to train my ground bait. I think this is the most easy skill to, to train, to be honest. But it, it can be very expensive. So you just keep doing this until you are level 100. And that's one thing you don't have to worry about from now on. Uh, so I know it costs a lot of money, but when you have level 100, you never have to have to spend money in this crown bait ma making uh, again. So yeah, and you're gonna need it for some fish. I mean, the last thing you unlock is dried crustaceans, caviar, strawberry grass. Um, it's always comes in handy if you have everything unlocked, especially if you go to Surah or something. You're gonna need the crab and mussels. Uh, you can use the zebra mussel ad additives and and so on and so on. Now, how do you define um, how to make the best ground bait for every fish? Now, everybody knows that every time when the server has an update or the game has an update, um, the fish have other preferences. So let's say um, let's see if we want to make like sturgeon mix or whatever. Um, you always go check the weeklies and you check every region you don't want to just check your region my region is all the region but I always check all the region and uh, all the regions and I am checking what bait the fish is biting on so what bait does the fish like um, for instance uh, I have a very good ground bait now I'm gonna use that as an example um, Let's say, yeah, grass carp is maybe a bad example because they bite on potatoes mostly. Um, so let's say carps. In the other region, carps like Nordic Esterberry, Honey Doll, Creme Brulee, uh, King Plum Tuna, Sweet Cream. So this is all different. You cannot make anything of it. Uh, so I'm just gonna check every... Uh, every weekly leaderboard for the ground bait making and um, you will see that after the last update carps like honey a lot carps like honey a lot because the honey is always coming back in the leaderboards in every region so honey is something that uh, that carps love this week uh, maybe it's not that obvious on this moment but if you do good research and you see uh, honey if you do research and you check every weekly leaderboard for that species um, you're gonna see that a lot of things are coming back you see honey dough honey dough um, yeah creme brulee seems to work good as well so maybe cream is a very good uh, attractive as well um, but if you do this you can't go wrong. You always you see honey, 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 
in Poland. And you keep doing this until you, like, there's one ingredient that catches your eye, you know, like, oh, this ingredient, I notice that it's being used very often to see it's, it's a lot of honey everywhere. Um, so what I do then is you go check the, um, the ingredients for the basic, the basic, uh, recipe. Uh, let's say you, you we are doing carp now, so we're gonna check what the base ingredients of the carp mix is. And that is ground peas, that's always one I stick to. So if the base ingredient says ground peas, I'm always going for ground peas as a mixture. That's what I do. Um, there are other possibilities to do this right and maybe even better ways to do it. But this always works for me. Um, you can see that um, carps love fly maggots, corn and vanilla. Now, we, as we noticed, um, carps love honey at the moment. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna um, copy this recipe in our head and we go to uh, normal custom ground bait. Um, carps love ground peas, so you should use ground peas in this one. Then the additives. You have to, you have to think about it and you have to see um, like, yeah, fly maggots, that's something they always like. That's something that a ground bait for a carp, it always works. Um, also, um, I do cookies because it's sweet. And I think that carps love it because they love honey. So you, you gotta keep in mind, they love honey, they love tuna as well. So maybe uh, fish oil will work as well in the attractant. Um, but I'm doing honey at the moment and I caught a very nice fish yesterday. Uh, it's, it's, it works very well. Um, this is the one I caught yesterday with my ground bait. I caught it on honey 20 and my own honey uh, ground bait recipe. So you can do this for all fish species. Of course, it's a bit of trial and error. Um, because yeah, not every bait you cannot buy every um, um, ingredient for ground bait that the fish like to, to bite on, you know. So let's say we have, for instance, uh, we have a lot of different baits. Like if you have larvas, like for instance, sturgeons like rhinos and um, yeah, they like, they just like rhinos. So that makes me think, yeah, casters in ground bait is a good idea. It's definitely a good idea. Uh, sturgeons always bite on zebra mussels, for instance. That would be a good thing to put in my ground bait. So you always have to think like this. Um, of course, I, I do believe that some things work better than others. Um, I don't know how it works. Uh, for instance, like crayfish tail, that's something that uh, sturgeons love too after the update. So that would be a good additive to put in your ground bait as well. Um, yeah, you you can go you can go very far in this and uh, craft your own ground baits, and you will you will learn when you get experience yourself in making the ground bait how it works and what works best, for instance. And um, yeah, I hope I helped you a lot with this, uh, especially for people who just started the game and they wanna level up their ground bait faster. It really helps. This is. I'm pretty sure this is the only way to do it faster uh, instead of I see people just uh, leveling up constantly with using uh, the, the level 1 mixtures. Uh, that can be okay until you go get to a certain level then you will not get XP anymore because yeah it's just too low level. Um, but let's say from level 40, it gets a little bit harder. And from level 80, you're gonna get like almost no XP anymore. So you gotta get out what's in it. You, you, gotta, you gotta take every chance you can get to get the XP in ground bait making. And you do that by drinking alcohol, do it while uh, during happy hour and use the latest mixture you unlocked. It definitely helps. Uh, thank you all for listening and watching. I hope I helped you guys. If anyone has something else to add, just uh, say it in the comments. I really appreciate it. I'm gonna make uh, another video right now about uh, 
uh, fish migration and the server updates how to handle it and how to adapt in that you still can catch fish so thank you guys and uh, hopefully see you later Adi